spot. I just matched him. My name's Ben, and I'm on a quest to find a shed in every state in the U.S. I don't even know if this is possible, and I'm risking everything to try to get it done. Come along with me as we travel the country in search of shed antlers. Well, you guys, I've been teasing this trip forever. And a lot of people have guessed in the comments where we're going, but we're not going. We're here. We're here. Do you guys know that guy? Have you ever been stuck in a rut before? All right. That's my friend, Adam. Hey. Uh, and we're going to go find some moose sheds. It really needs no introduction, but I'm super stoked to be here. This is like a bucket list trip for me. I can't even tell you guys like how excited I am. I've never found a moose paddle, but I have a feeling that this could be the night. What do you think? Give me a real gun. What are the odds? Oh, all right. 22. Um, yeah. 22 mag. It's kind of rainy and kind of windy, but we're going to go find a moose shed and check off Alaska. Ben might cry. I told him to cry, but... <laughs> I'm so excited. Like, I feel like a little kid. I've been, like, looking forward to a trip like this forever. And it finally worked out, so we're here, and we're going to go do it. Enough talking. Let's go. Got to adjust some chest harnesses here for the big dogs so we can stay safe out there. What the heck, dude? This guy. This guy. Dude. The pictures don't do anything justice, man. That thing is stupid. It's I'm gonna... Like you getting in your pickup, right? Picking up a little Debbie, you know, <laughs> at the gas station. Is this real life? Is this real life right now? Okay, get in. This is fine. That's good. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It's a great angle. There you go. Yeah, any of those bars. Not much room. No, but it's really not bad. Like <sighs> You don't want to go to the Brooks Range and fly nine hours. <laughs> no, that'd be pretty brutal. So we spotted three right here, a brown set and a brown single. So we're on our way. Let's go get them. It's pretty long. Don't filled out much. I got you on film. Got it. There it is, folks. <laughs> the longest journey I've ever made for a shed. Yeah. For sure. Oh, that <laughs> is so bad.
Oh, you guys like bucket list since I was a little kid. Always dreamed about coming to Alaska and flying for moose paddles. I'm gonna get out of this before my boots fill up in water. It's pretty soggy. <laughs> Worth it though. That thing is so cool. Big old pedicle. Porcupine him. Yeah. Stinky. This thing is freaking awesome. What's that like a 10 pounder? Sitting in the water. It's pretty heavy. A little waterlogged, but freaking awesome. That's so rad. Let's go get the set. Yeah, there's a better, bigger than this, yeah, that, I? That's tiny. Yeah. <laughs> that set's tiny. like a mid 50s bull. That's like probably not even 50. Yeah. Oh He's my small. gosh, dude. All right, let's go get the big ones then. What the heck? Those are yep. Way bigger. <laughs> Told you. A little bigger than the last one. Oh my gosh, bro. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Remain calm. That's the coolest freaking thing, man. Can you match them? Oh, wait. I like when they drop oh like that. Oh, my hell, dude. Like, I wanted to see that side right there my whole life. He's pretty tall. That's pretty rad. Is this the ATL? Yeah, I mean, yeah. And they're not really chewed either. No, usually they, like the other one, they hammer on the porcupines around the top. Pick them up, dude. Look at that freaking ball. That is me. Oh. <laughs> I feel like a little kid on Christmas, dude. Like, think it's a set? Freaking set. <laughs> I mean, they're like, what, 15 pounders, probably? Yeah. Oh, so bad. Like, the giant fronts and the huge palms, like, this is the dream. This has been my dream since I was a little kid to find some of these. That's uh, state number 19, Alaska. We checked her off, baby. When I do my statistics for miles hiked, it's going to be pretty fun for this state. You guys watch. Yeah. Because we saw at least 10 on the way down, and then these are the ones that we could stop and land and get. So they're going to go home. I'm exhausted. I'm about a quarter mile in. I know. I started sweating a little bit. Tilt them towards me, the tops a little bit. Yeah. And then bring them, bring them in to like the pedicles are together. Yeah. Like, kind of hard to hold, but yeah. <laughs> That's so sick. Oh. Over here. So, yeah, he's probably high 50s, 59. He'd be about like that. <laughs> That's so cool. In a hole. Yeah, so you basically, I put him against the wall there, and you can, if he's got an outlying point way up here, you can take that perpendicular. Got you. So he'd go from here, really kicked out. All the way to this one. See, probably he might go 60. Crazy. Yeah. That's such a rad bull. But if he's got three, then it's a no brainer to shoot him because he's legal. But shoot, right. this one obviously doesn't have it. All right. Well, we got a long pack out. How far we got to go, dude? 200 yards. <sighs> Riddle. Let's take a break. Did you bring any snacks? <laughs> we just had dinner. <laughs> Everywhere is gone. Yep. If but they get holed up in the snow. Yeah, the wolves work through this. They come through these snakey things. When you're trapping wolves, I'll that pair of deal. This is like perfect. You pack it into the brush spot and then it's gonna go around. Alright, so we dropped a pin. What we did is Adam banked hard over the top of the shed and he's like, okay, three, two, one, drop a pin. So I dropped a pin on Onyx and now we're navigating. We're gonna see how close it got. So we're 42. Point one yards away from that antler. So it should be straight in front of us. Let's see how close it is. How many yards now? 50. Yeah, usually get pretty close. Oh yeah, that's wild. Yeah, I mean. So flying over, we dropped that thing. I mean, 40 yards. That's, oh, look at those frogs. That's pretty long. That will never get old. 
play. What the heck? It's only net day one. <laughs> Dude. Oh my gosh, that's heavier. Big fronts. Yeah. Look at the color on the back. <laughs> yep. That is so sweet. You're 40 yards from it on the drop? Yep. Pretty good mark. Yeah, for the air, huh? Yeah. That's, I mean, God, that's got to be a little heavier than that last one we picked up. I feel like. They still got a lot of growing to do. They grow big into the front and they take a long time. Like yeah. an old moose will be twice that thick up there. Right, it just doesn't have the thickness on the yeah. top, huh? Sweet, should we get the other one? Yeah, do you want to leave that in the tree? Since we... I'll just walk over there with it and then we can okay. come back whichever way. I think we're back here. I can't remember, I gotta look at the, the pan. Speak it. All right. Concern levels. Those rubs. So this one was actually, the pin was dead on that one. Was it? Yeah. Oh my God. Dude. That will never not be like the coolest thing ever. Yeah, they're eating all this bark. I've tried it before, it doesn't taste very good. You know? I'm gonna take a picture of that one right there. Oh, I like it when they're like that, man. Yeah. Because then they keep the color on the front side of the paddle. Just being a bark chewer. Bark hiding, beetle. Hiding from the wolves. He didn't get chewed either. No. Lucky. Probably a sat. Probably, huh? Yeah, I think so. There's just... It's so funny. We were looking at moose crap in Idaho yesterday. It's like half that big. Tiny. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, a little smaller than the last set. Yep. Pretty similar, though. Yep. Cousins. For sure. So what's the... Like that? Yeah, but they'll be, you know, not so flared out. He's about nine inches apart from pedicle yeah. to pedicle. Things freaking cool. Sweet. We got a little bit of a walk out of here, so Ugh, let's get it. I say not bad. How many pounds you think? Mm, less than a hundred, probably sixty. <laughs> not bad. I we're going for a thousand. Yeah, we're gonna get a thousand while I'm here. In that last spot, we ended up finding those paddles and then looping out and around to try to get not have to go through the thick stuff. I ended up walking quite a ways, but. Not bad at all. Got the waders on, a little bit wet. That was crazy. One of the craziest nights. You gotta be gentle with those things. Throwing them around, those are precious. You should see what they do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? Snap my ass. All right, folks, good morning. This is day two here up in uh, good old Alaska. We're getting some snacks. What kind of guy doesn't bring his own snacks? I thought you were the snack king. Well, see, I was, I brought a lot of candy and snacks. It just wasn't for me. For me too. <laughs> yep, that'll do me for the day. I'll just put those in my pack right here. No Debbies? Give me a can of green beans, man. <laughs> we we'll call them this. Yeah. All right, come up here, land on this ridge. You can do it when it's calm, but it's kind of like a, there's a mountain right here. So it's kind of like a one way once you're committed, like you either stick the landing or you die because you can't fly into the mountain. Nice. So that's not a good option. You're gonna land there. There's some sheds in here. Um, and then I think I don't want to pack all the sheds back up here. So I want to find a spot to land the airplane here. But once I can actually walk around and see and like step it off, I want to just cache a pile of sheds here. And then while you're picking up another one or something, I'll run up, grab the airplane, meet you down here. Rendezvous, go. Perfect. All right. So this is a bit of a, not even a teaser. It's just, I'm going to just show it because I don't care. I'm going to show you guys how this all-in adapter works on these binoculars. It's so slick. Go ahead and press record here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it through these 10 power binos or not. But it's right. Let's see. It's like right a little left of the lake. I can just barely see the tines of it sticking up out there. 
There's moose track, first of all, in this tundra. If you guys have never hiked in the tundra like I haven't, super spongy, interesting feeling stuff. So Adam was telling me about all, see all that broken branches and everything back in there. It's where the moose are eating on that bark. You can see their tracks out walking in this stuff, but we're coming up on our first couple antlers here and it's just moose sign everywhere. Like the bulls wintered in this stuff. But you can see everywhere that's light on those trees over there. It's all broken up where they're rubbing and eating and screwing around in there. We got paddle here. Paddle there, let's get him. What's that? He's draping those down so we can eat the buds off the top. Oh, that's cool. Mega. Super keeper. Oh yeah, keeper all day. Okay, quit screwing around. We have a lot of sheds, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Oh, look, a baby. Aw, that's cute, man. Just a toddler. That could go in somebody's house, you know? I think you'd be surprised how many people would want that antler. Like, Is that a Wasatch bull? <laughs> <laughs> You're no kidding, right? This is what I was looking for in Idaho the other day. Like a five, four pounder, probably. But first brownie of the day, that's poundage. We're going to take it with us. It's so funny how much your like perception changes from day to day because yesterday I would have been like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, oh cool. Especially when I know that we got like more than we could ever carry found right here. So let's go get some more. Get up that bark is off of these trees. Just sit here and eat it. Got one out here to go get. Like that first one we found last night, huh? Yeah. Ooh. Not chewed. That's pretty. That's a gnarly pedicle, huh? Yeah, kind of a little bit of growth coming off it. Weird looking. Yeah, most of them we've seen have been pretty roundish, but it's crazy how much mass they have on the base right there. Like, freaking sweet. And a two year old moose? Yeah. Two, maybe three. <laughs> pretty, pretty small. Color. Yeah. It's a young one. Got some filling out to do. Yep, got some growing up, but oh, still like a 10 pound horn. You'd be stoked if you picked up an elk horn that weighed that. Keep picking them up. Who shed crazy? Well, me, I was, I was just coming <laughs> over here, guys, and watch this. I was just coming over here like this, and it's just like craziest thing happened. I just ducked down over the sunshade. Brown, right there. <laughs> you need that flat bill, like, you probably blocked my eyes on that one, dude. Exactly, it didn't have my life. We walked right past this on the way in, too. Green, right too. That's the other half to the old. Well, yeah, it's yeah. green. Is that the other half to the one I no, chucked? It's the same, same side. This is twin. Well, all right. Time to shot put that thing. Let's see it. You do it. Chuck that thing. Whoa. Nice. Oh, yeah. Precious. Uphill. You gotta go like this. Mm hmm <laughs> Good distance. Crush it. 7.5. Poaching, poaching moose sheds. A little chewed on. Porcupine's got a hold of it. Oh. Sad. Is that last year's? Yeah. Slimy. That is. Green. B grade. Yep. Pressure cool. washer. Yeah. Clean right up, huh? still struggle flying those out it's like are you worthy <laughs> you <laughs> i guess this i guess we'll keep it yeah i would keep it it's got a thicker paddle than some of those we've been seeing huh yeah he could have lost a foot off the top yeah. i mean they go to town good fronts nice and wide that's why i shoot porcupines yep let me see the back yeah it's pretty wide 
You can tell he's young though, because they get older, they have shorter points, they grow into the point. Gotcha. And they'll get thicker up tall, up top there. Cool. Sweet. Put on the pack. Number five. So we made a little stash pile back here behind us and we can come back for him, but now we got like 10 or so marked out here in front of us. Closest one, 650 yards out through the tundra. This stuff is crazy. It's like nothing I've ever hiked in. It's like spongy. Hiking waders and rain gear. Pretty cool. Pick this one up? No, put it down. Let me hold on. You do. Yeah, put it back down. That'll make it look like I'm the hero here. Good fronts, baby moose. Super old. Up and comer. Yeah. Rest in pieces. Jeez. That's so cool. Look how the water's cooled up in there. Need a drink? Yum. <laughs> Dude, that's so much heavier. That's full of water. Well, no, it's heavier. Oh, that's a bigger bowl, dude. Yeah. Oh. Does any good color on the backside? Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice and green. Cool. That thing's freaking sweet. Whew. Ripe. God, they stink. They're horrible. Okay. Cool. All right, on the pack. Action. Action. Action Jackson. <laughs> oh, that's the right color. Freshy. No chews. No chews. That was clean and pretty. Oh. It's got some weight to it. Some awesome color. Yeah. After picking up that white one, bunch of mass down low, but still young bull, huh? Yeah. Legal though, he's got three. Yeah. Stinky. Thing's freaking heavy. Got better weight on it than a lot of these we've been finding, but I just can't get over the pedicles on those things. They're like nothing like a elk and deer have such a smooth pedicle and like a wax ring. I think they tear these out of their head. Yeah, it looks like he tore that one a little bit. There's a little rub right back there, 50 yards, so. Yeah. Pretty freaking sweet. Another one for the pack. I think it's last year's. Yeah. There was some megas in here last year, huh? It's a mature horn. Yeah. Yeah, he's got some... See how much heavier he is, and oh, Ooh. needs a washing. Yeah, slimy. Ooh, cracked up on the inside of that paddle. Pretty cracked. Where? Got all these. Oh, we're gonna need a shot put, dude. Is it a thrower? I mean, I'm not gonna keep it. Take a punch a hole in it. Junk. Dang, that's a sad chalk to throw right there. <laughs> Folks with a heavy heart. That's a big antler, bro. I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> this is a freaking rain. Yeah. Yeah, it's big. No sense in hauling it out of here though, right? I'm not carrying it. <sighs> Do I look like I want to carry that? <laughs> Three and a half feet. That's a big horn. Just like okay, good job. Around. Let's go get a good one. No other points. Yeah, I remember that one. Yep. I have the stuff in the paddle. Yep. On it. So we talked about it. Big paddle. Old. Cracked out, man. Yeah. Ugh. That water gets in there and it freezes. Yeah. And just shatters in a big front. Isn't it sad to abandon this? Just no, I just here. saved my legs for the good ones. 
I'm not quite to that mentality. Yeah, yeah. That thing is a beautiful freaking antler. Go ahead. Shot put 25 pound antler. Preferably brown side up so I don't right. do this again, yeah. Dang it. Take two. All cracked out on the back, huh? Yep. yep. Next one. Right. Next one will be a good one. I believe you. Ten yards. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. That's... That's a mega bull. <laughs> Do you see the fronts on that thing? Another level of bull. That's, that's, right a, that's what a big moose shed looks like. Finally, dude. We've been weeding through all these puny ones. As I like to say, a hoggity hog. <laughs> hammer hog, dog. Oh, man. Oh. It's a big one. Oh shit, dude. Like, that's like nothing we picked up. I didn't really like. Oh my heck. You're like, you used to them kind of. You think they're huge and you walk up on them. You're like, oh, okay. That one's stupid. That's a huge front, dude. <laughs> oh man. That thing's crazy. That's why he came. Dude. Is it green? The last year's? Oh, it's this year's. I saw that bull right oh. here. <laughs> it's a big Shit. one. Dude. Oh my gosh, bro. That thing is twice as heavy as anything I have on my back. Anything we've hauled yet. Oh. That front's massive. Is the back brown? Is it's it last year's? White. Looks it's, like last year's. Crazy. It could be last year's, but... Or it might have got flipped over. Yeah, or it could have shed early, but like, dude, that is just a different level. Like, all these other ones I'm all holding out and stuff. Like, oh, <laughs> that, that front's as big as some of the paddles we picked. I know. Imagine that coming at you ready to fight. That thing is freaking wild, bro. Couple cracks on the back. Yeah, that's big. Little babies. We gotta take this one off. That's a good one. No, he's a brown on this side. Ugh. Throw that thing on there. Oh, you can fill those, all right. It's gonna work out. Those fronts are gonna oh, take yeah. an eye out. Easy there. Let's have a little rest here. Beaver front. Up out of I'm a gazelle. Oh, I ain't no gazelle yet. There's a set yonder, right? Oh, I see him. There. All right, let's get him, I guess. Okay. Old set, isn't it? Yeah. Side by side is good. Good. I wonder if it's a set. Maybe. Should be. Hard to say. I'm gonna say no. We're just chucking these green sheds. You just <laughs> pompous now or what? <laughs> Pack's a little heavier. It's a good bull. Yeah. Pretty sweet looking. Just without the green. Yeah. Being super old. I mean, pretty good shape, really, like, getting a little pink, but really, less cracked. I don't know. Don't okay. know why. I'm not keeping them. No? I don't think so. Well, I guess I can screenshot the video and have a picture forever, right? I was pretty excited to take more until I started feeling. Huge ones. You got a long ways to go. I got more. 
I know there's some browns down there. Those were like blended in with the grass, you know? And the one over here in the swamp, it's brown. Unless it's wicked dirty from beavers playing with it. Yeah. Pour out a little wilderness athlete for the yeah. sheds. <laughs> in memory for the ones we left behind. That's a good one. Big. Dropped on the ice. You don't want to go up to your balls? It might be deep right there. Oh, pretty hard. Ooh, heavy too. I mean, it's going to be a little waterlogged, I'm sure. But... That's a freshie. That's a good brown. Yeah. Put all the little baby leeches on it. Nice. Get out of there. Get off my antler, nerds. Shrieking. Sweet horn, good heavy bull, palmated. <laughs> Trifecta. Cool. Heck yeah. Black on the tips. Uh, cool. Beautiful. Doing some more loops. And... Uh, this has got one right here. Just <laughs> put the big brown one out of water right there. Oh yeah. Dandy. Yep, I remember seeing that one. That was the one you hadn't seen before. You're like, oh yeah. New one. You think it's bee grave? It's not crack? I do, but I- I don't think it's pink. I've never had buyers like pink anyway. Yeah, I don't know, man. I've never sold moose, I don't know. How do we go? Bye, Felicia. It almost. Great, now I don't want to get- now it'll fool you next time. You got the hard job, yeah. Yeah. Just sit there and watch, Donnie. Yeah. Camera guy. My arms are getting tired, dude, from holding Sorry. this phone up, so. You hurry it up. Yeah, if you could, that'd be great. I'm prepared to die, okay? You might. I broke my back. <laughs> Spinal. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, that's not too bad. It's like 100. Maybe, no, that's more than 100. <sighs> I got half a water bottle and one wilderness. Shut up, dude. Car. You don't know. You don't know how heavy he is. Now for the magical part, love lifters. Oh, okay, Same. love to stay in chat. Okay, bro. See you over there. Good luck. <clears throat> them goes with all the sheds that we've collected that are worth hauling out of here and i got five onyx pins down here below me uh the furthest one's about a mile out so i'm going empty and i'm going to go collect all those he's going to take those to the landing spot that we designated earlier and then he's going to come in and land um we have all those that he's got on which i think is five big paddles two more at the landing strip two more by the cub and so between all those we're looking at nine plus i should be able to get maybe another two or three keepers out of these pins that i'm going to go search so uh we might we'll have to make a couple trips back here to pick up antlers so let's get after it i gotta go hard because i only have till he gets there and gets to the plane and fires it up and as soon as he fires that plane up i gotta run up and meet him so what a crazy crazy adventure this has been so adam's motoring towards the landing strip and i got one mile across this tundra stuff to that further shed. And then after that, it'll be about a mile zigzagging back through, finding all the ones we had pinned. And then um, 
go try to get everything out of here, but bucket list stuff right here. Like, I can't tell you how crazy it is to be in these situations and be in these places and get chances to see stuff that I dreamed about when I was a kid. I used to dream about coming to Alaska, dream about finding moose paddles, and here we are doing it. I haven't really said this for a while, but if there's something that you want to do, if there's something that makes you happy, if there's something that keeps you up at night, figure out how to do it. You'll always be able to find reasons not to. You'll always be able to make excuses. But if you chase those dreams, you can call it the universe. You can call it God. You can call it whatever you want. There will be a way for you to accomplish the things that you want to do. That's your motivational thing of the day from somebody who is living his dream in the best way I could imagine. Go get it. Look at that little souvenir. I'm keeping that one. That one's cute and it's brown. That's going home with me. Oh, I had a drop time. You better believe I'm keeping that one. I could fit that in my luggage and I found it. Well, it's stupid to say that I found it all by myself because I obviously did not fly myself out here, but just walked up on it. And it's a brown one that I didn't see from the air. That's coming home with me. Now, I, love, I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, hey, Ben, what about grizzly bears? Brown bears, aren't you scared? <laughs> Terrified. Like, this is outside my comfort zone. I got this bad boy, 454 Casul, in case I need it, but still, walking all through this stuff, Adam's like, just stay on those bear trails. I'm like, yeah, great idea. Luckily, he says that when you fly over, most of the bears will run. And we buzzed over and over through all this stuff, locating antlers. So that doesn't mean they're not here. And it doesn't mean you don't have to be very cautious, but uh, I'm just keeping an eye out. I'm talking out loud a lot. So I don't walk up and surprise anything. Hopefully anything that is in here, hear me coming and take a hike. So that's the situation. Geez, that took some finding, some circling around. Find those two browns, little, little brown set, just cuties. Actually, not even a, yeah, it is. It's a set that one just got eaten to pieces. Woo, gonna be like 20 minutes circling through there. We saw those things pretty easy from the air. That's crazy. There they are. I just got stick faked. There's one here within 40 or 50 yards somewhere. I can't find the dang thing. Jeez, took forever to find. Big white. Big old freaking antler. Oh. Green on the back. Big paddle, but I don't think it's yeah, that's pretty, pretty cracked right there on the front. Well, it's not bad. Oh, oh, I'm gonna lay down here for a minute. I was just gonna kneel down and look at that shed and then my body decided it wanted to lay down too. Um, like eight miles through this sloggy stuff in my wade boots. I'm pretty freaking tired. A lot of it with a heavy A pack on. No, I'm not napping until I get back to where the pickup spot is. Then I'll take a nap if I need to. Well, Adam just started the plane and he said once he started the plane, it was time to haul butt. So that shed's going to stay. I don't think it'll quite be B grade. And I'm going to. Grab my other ones and I'm gonna head butt for the meeting spot.
up before me. What I got? No, it's not snacks. It's batteries. For what? Got a note in there. Let's see. So he just dropped me a note that said he's gonna go pick up, and then he'll be back to get me in an hour. Said to meet him. Uh, 400 yards east of the original pickup spot. I don't know what that means. I think it means over here. So we'll go see. Looks like he's gonna land over there. That is a new spot, so we'll see. See, pointing. Looked like he flew over and was pointing in this brush. But he's pointing here close wherever it was. <clears throat> Alright, that's where he was pointing. <laughs> that's a big heavy antler right there. Holy crap. That one didn't look as big from the air. Big old heavy brown. Look at that thing, ooh. <laughs> thing is rad. Oh, a face on it. That's like a oh, 20 pounder. Well, when he flew over, I was standing over by those trees and I couldn't tell where he was pointing. But uh, it took me just a second right here to get this one found, tucked up in this little pocket. So four browns now on the pack. That's the first one that has any size to it. I'm gonna go over, I got a pin about 300 yards away over there on Onyx for one last one. And then everything goes to the pickup spot. So look at this one I just found. Buried under the tundra. I'll dig it out and show you what it looks like. Yeah, way too much work. Giant base though. Who knows, like it's breaking off. You can see it clear moving the ground up there. Yeah, I'm not gonna dig it out. It's definitely not the one we saw flying over. So I flipped that one over and I was leaving that way because I thought that was the one we saw. Adam flew back over. There's that big one right there. There he goes. Pointed at that one, I couldn't see it. So he had me come back. And there was that big old white right there. Big old brown, I'm about to get heavy. That's crazy, I let it. I would have missed that one. This is the other half of oh. other half of that big one. That's a big antler. I think this is no, well, I don't know. If it's the other half of this one I got in my pack, I'll pull it off and look. Uh, it might be bigger. It's a big horn. I think, yeah, I think it's the set to that one I got on there. Jeez, this pack's about to get heavy. <laughs> it's a cool set. Pretty sweet. Oh, I saw was one tine sticking out. Not bad. Take it with me, but, uh, you know, loaded a little heavy. Oh. Ben and I had to split up. We walked right by this one. And uh, he's down there. Gonna meet at the airplane. I dropped a note out of the plane. But yeah, look at this. Whopper brown. I think it's a match. It's only picked up. Nice, nice shed. No shed left behind. I wanted to come get this one. It's a triple on the front. Pretty heavy. Nice brown shed. No chews. So, didn't want to leave that one behind. I gotta hustle back to the plane. Made her back, holy heck. What a day, look at this. So Adam already hauled a bunch. He went and got that brown, which is just beautiful. Forgot to unpack that one. That's what I had on my pack right there. I don't know what it weighed, it was heavy. Now I'm gonna drink some water. We're gonna get in that thing and then Adam's got a motor back for town. Got a decent. Decent ride, decent ways back, so we're gonna get going.
All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as I did. I doubt that it's possible for anybody to enjoy it as much as I did because I was the one that was there living it. But uh, it's it's about that's about half the video that I shot while I was up there in Alaska. A ton more to come. Once again, I need to give a huge shout out to the Grandas, Adam and Tana, for having me up there. Adam for just making this incredible trip happen, and um, Tana for feeding me, taking care of me while I was up there. Seriously, an amazing family, great people. Super blessed to get to spend some time with them. So if you're not following them, check them out on Instagram. Uh, Adam's Instagram is Grenda89, and Tana's is Tana Sue Fit, and they're both part of the Stuck in the Red YouTube channel. Definitely worth checking out. I also need to thank some people who bought apparel. So I need to thank Tiffany Brunson, uh, Tamara Conception, Concepcion, I don't know how you say it. I don't know how Latin you get with that. Uh, Brennan Elton, Luke Pence, Darren Holmes, uh, Ross Musgrove, Easton Gordon, Preston Neiman, uh, Dennis Peters, Kurt Myers, uh, Jake Silty, um, Brian Duff, Joshua Barney, and Jonathan Starkey. So that catches up everybody to what I had when I edited this video. So part two's coming. You guys aren't gonna wanna miss it. I promise you, it's gonna be every bit as good. We got into a lot of antlers in the first episode and we get into some big ones in the second one. So hope you guys enjoy it. It'll be out soon.